Thomas Jennings was the first African American to receive a patent in 1821. Thomas Jennings was born a free man in 1791 in New York City. He later married Elizabeth Jennings who was born a slave. Thomas Jennings and his wife Elizabeth had three children. As a tailor he opened a clothing store business, which later became very successful. While running his business customers complained of their clothes being ruined by stains, so he began experimenting with cleaners and mixtures that would remove stains without harming the material. In 1821 he received a patent for a dry cleaning process called dry scouring. This created the modern day dry cleaning. Thomas Jennings was a free man at the time of his invention, he was able to gain exclusive rights from his invention and profited from it. African American slaves were not allowed to hold a patent, their efforts was the property of their master. However Thomas Jennings used the profit from his invention to free his family members from slavery and contributed towards abolitionist cause. Thomas Jennings served as Assistant Secretary of the First Convention of the People of Color in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In 1854 Elizabeth Jennings the daughter of Thomas Jennings boarded a streetcar of the 3rd Avenue Railroad Company. The conductor ordered her out out the car, she refused, the conductor tried to remove her by force, eventually with the help of a police, Elizabeth Jennings was ejected out of the car. Her story was publicized by Frederick Douglass, and received national attention. Elizabeth Jennings filed a lawsuit in the Brooklyn court against the driver, the conductor in the 3rd Avenue Railroad Company. Because of her father's wealth and prominence she was able to be presented by the best attorney, Chester Arthur who would go on to become the 21st President of the United States. Elizabeth Jennings won her case in the Brooklyn court. The next day, the 3rd Avenue Railroad Company stopped practicing segregation, and soon after other car companies joined. Thomas Jennings died in 1856 in New York City but his legacy lives on. The dry scouring process he invented, is the same method used by dry cleaning businesses worldwide to this day.